go. All right, so let's see. Uh, we were looking at uh, we were looking at uh, finite fields. Okay, so trying to figure out all the properties of this field, extra, and we made we made significant progress. Okay, so we said. Uh, if somebody says F is a finite field, what are all the various things we know? Okay, size of F has to be equal to p power m. Okay, so where m p is some prime number, and in fact, in F, what is p? P, if you call P as 1 plus 1 plus 1, P times, what should it be? Should be equal to 0. Okay, and it should be the smallest one that happens there. So, P is the characteristic. Okay. And uh, we also know that F is a m dimensional. But the space over uh, ZP, right? Right, ZP or a copy of ZP that's inside of, for instance. Okay, so, so this is true. And uh, this gives a lot of handle over addition. And it, and it also gives what's called a vector representation for the finite field elements. Okay, so you know it's a vector space. Any n-dimensional vector space can be represented using m coordinates. Right, it's a vector of m coordinates from Zp. So every element of the field can be represented as a m coordinate vector with elements from Z. Okay, so that's the first representation. It's called the vector representation. This gives the vector representation. And we have been seeing this vector representation as actually a polynomial, right. So, polynomial is also can be thought of as a vector, okay. So you take the coefficients of the polynomial, collect them together, that is a vector, okay. So, so vector or polynomial representation, okay. So, that also is fine. And the next thing we saw was perhaps a bit more surprising, it is the multiplicative structure. We saw that this f has to have an element which I probably call beta or alpha, beta, okay which has this interesting property, it generates the entire multiplicative group, okay. So, what is beta power p power m minus 1 is equal to 1. Okay. So, up until that you will never get any repetition, it is a primitive element, so this beta is a primitive element of this field. And we also saw this very interesting relationship. I want you to keep this relationship in mind. It is very important. The roots of x power p minus 1 minus 1 in f are what? Okay, what are the roots of x power p power m minus 1 minus 1? All the non zero elements, right? So these are all non zero elements of. Okay, so this is an important and powerful property, you should keep that in mind, okay. So, if you take, so, so what does this mean? This basically means x power p power m minus 1 minus 1 factors into linear factors in f, right. See, it can have at best p power m minus 1 roots in f, there is a c, and what are all the roots? 1 beta, beta square, etc. So, if you actually do this, x minus 1 times x minus beta, so I have till x minus beta power p power m minus 2, what should you get? You should get x power p power m minus 1, okay. So, it is a kind of a surprising uh, little property that all the, all the other powers in this product 
have to cancel. Okay, and you have to get x bar p bar m minus 1 minus 1 in the left hand side. It will go through all the roots. So, the largest power of x is very easy to check in this formula. So, with this x bar p bar m minus 1 on both sides, you can try to check the constant term. Okay, what will be the constant term? There will be a minus 1 power p bar m minus 1 and that is going to be positive or negative. Depends on p, right? So, in some case it will not matter. But anyway, so the sign will work out properly. What about the other product? Beta power 1 plus beta power 2 plus so on till beta power p power m minus 2, you can see that there will be a multiple of p power m minus 1 and that will end up actually being 1 mole so. Okay. So, other terms, for instance, if you want to check the coefficient of x, what will be the coefficient of x in this product? What is the coefficient of x? Uh, maybe not x, uh, the x power p power m minus 2. What is the coefficient of x power p power m minus 2? It is what? Minus 1 plus beta plus beta square plus so on till beta power p power m minus 2. <laughs> okay, I cannot get rid of this. So, what should I do? Hmm? What is the secret? Oh, select the window. Oh man, <laughs> that I will never work with Windows for the rest of my life. <laughs> Just when you think that something happens to you. So, will this help? What do I do? Sorry? So, F10 and the recording will stop, no? at least that much I can do. <laughs> so, is it because it is frozen or what is the story here? Anyone knows enough about these things too? Somehow nothing is responding. Okay, stop. <laughs>